I started my career in 1997 as the first full-time domestic violence prosecutor uh, to ever work in the state's attorney's office in Prince George's County. I loved it, defending women and families and children, and never stopped. Uh, I was elected in 2010 believing that all of us deserve to live in places that are safe, uh, that every single one of us does. And so I ran for state's attorney, and during the time that I served as state's attorney, I oversaw a 50% cut in violent crime in Prince George's County, while also creating really important programs to keep children in school. Um, I didn't stop there because I realized that many of the people that I encountered in those courthouse, uh, courtrooms who were seeking second chances, in my opinion, had never had the first chance. Um, and by that I mean I saw the, the harm of not having addictions care, mental health care, affordable housing. I saw what happened when we had not invested in really in, in economic opportunity and jobs and decided to run for county executive to do something about that. I know how not only to deliver for Marylanders because I have done it, but I will continue to do so to bring resources back here, uh, to continue the work that I've done on climate, to make sure again that we're not treating the climate like some future far off threat when we recognize that it is a threat today. And so what I said to Sydney and others, I mean, it is that we all have a collective obligation to make sure that we are doing everything we can uh, to pass along the very best future we can to our children. That's what this is about for me. I'm sure it's what it is about for so many of you. I'll say this and end. Many of you not heard a lot about me, um, probably because my opponent has spent $39 million and you've been able to see it on the air and in the mailboxes. And when you turn your computer on, uh, you have not had the same chance to hear from me. Uh, but I want you to know that I have been working steadily, will continue to do so, and that this election will be won by the people of our state, um, who I believe will send someone to the Senate who will continue to work for us. And I also want to say what a great opportunity is. We have 10 people in our federal delegation, and all 10 are men. What a wonderful chance it is for us to be able to also send a woman to Washington, I think, whose lived experience uh, is, is, is needed. And so this election provides many opportunities, but thank you so much for allowing me tonight to share with you a bit, and thank you all. all